Hey crafters, it's Muriel. I have two more D stashes for you. These are of a shabby, shabby background. So they are $18 each shipped. US only, PayPal only, friends and family, please. And if you're interested, leave me a comment down below and I will send to you my PayPal address. And I'm going to be up for some time now because um, we got nails done and then we went and had dinner. And now I'm home and I've kind of picked up, you know, around the house. So I'm in the craft room now, just kind of getting packages to be sent off tomorrow. So I uh, thought I would go ahead and I call this my Michaels drawer. It was a drawer that I had in here with a lot of Michaels embellishments from the past. And I thought if there's any shabby chicers up tonight that want to get on some of these goodies, they are $18 ship and I'm throwing in a little surprise. So let's get started. Let me show you what I have. This is Recollection. These are some journaling bookmarks for those shabby girls. They have that beautiful um, cameo look on those. And then these two are... Uh, like a roses bronze rose here is some shabby um, they call it crafting tape we call it um, what is that stuff called I have a ton of it um, I can't even think of it but you know what I'm talking about this this tape here this is a beautiful rose pattern I have some canvas embellishment embellishments and these are like labels so they have suitcases and express and then some um, overseas stamps and take a picture really cute the Michaels doesn't have these anymore I, I do have a stash for myself but I had a lot of duplicates so I thought you would be interested in some of those and then this is a embellishment that um, Michael sold and then you'll see in my other pack where I made one so this is the one that was for sale and basically it's a piece of canvas and it has some uh, ribbon, it has a metal key that looks like a small um, Prima frame, um, has some flowers, the background has a butterfly, and that was it. And you would either put this on a card or on a um, paper bag or however you chose to use it. So I have one left, I thought I would give that away. Here is a pack of um, metal embellishments, they're not, they're, um, charms they're not buttons okay so they're all of flowers and then there is the my mind's eye lost and found adornment so there's two frames and then probably a yard of white crocheted trim and then we have these four words hope give peace and dream and then these live cherish love family laugh and blessing and then these go way back, but these are some adhesive charms uh, from Michaels. So they're pink, roses, buttons, just all different, very unique, very pretty. And then there are a pack of the cream ones, and there's one or two missing, but there's still enough to use for many projects. Then there are these buttons, these wooden buttons, and this one is a clock, and then two flower images. Again, from uh, Michael's Craft Mart. And then there are these red rhinestone stickers. These are all here. They just look like they kind of dropped out of place, but this is a full pack unopened. Then I have these two beautiful frames, vintage romance journal frames from uh, Recollections. This lot is $18 shipped. Um, and then I ended up with three of these gather paper pads. Don't ask me why or how, but it's Cray Paper Maggie Holmes Gather Collection. You've seen it. So for you ladies that didn't get a chance to get this 6x6, six six, I have it here with your name on it. So all of that for $18 shift. And then I'm going to throw in, kicking off the fall season with a pack of my... Um, homemade resin pieces now these are all for the fall in here there is an orange pumpkin a black pumpkin two leaves of, of like a brown and a black or dark 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 brown there's another leaf here there's it there's an owl back there and then a uh, wicked tree and then a butterfly as well as a key so I usually make these during the fall. I love making these. The thing is that I only have one mold for each. So when I make uh, one 
in this color then I make one in that color and I almost never go back and make two but I've used these I use them all the time in my fall projects I have some uh, cards in my on my channel um, that I've used one a beautiful card I made for my mother using um, some paper I believe by graphic 45 and I just used one of the leaves had it sticking out the flower gorgeous 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 so I'm gonna throw that in there for you guys now this is gonna be lot a okay this is the first one and if you're interested just leave me a comment down below now the second one is similar same amount of stuff but maybe slightly different okay. so of course you're going to get the paper pad same thing the gather six by six paper pad this one has never been open Here are your frames, three of the Vintage Romance frames, rectangle shape, the Vintage Romance journal and album knobs. Here are your words, Believe Romance Forever You and Me. Brilliant, Bless, Grateful and Smile. And if you don't like these colors, you can paint them whatever color you like. Okay, here is a uh, Making Memories metal frame. Okay, you get some of the Michael embellishments in this cream color. Beautiful. These hearts, pink and red. Gemstones by um, Paper Studio. Here is a pack of um, flowers, crochet flowers with the pearl center. Now here is the one that I made, and I'll show you the other one so you can see how different they look, but similar. Okay, so I used a uh, burlap background. I then put on a piece of um, paper cut out like a postage stamp background. It was all shabby colors. I used a key and flowers. There's some crocheted lace, the word today. So I had made my own. I had I have a tutorial on my channel. Go way back like four years ago and you'll see um, how I made these. So this person will be getting this one. Then I have some more of the metal embellishments in pink. There is a pack of those wooden buttons. Now these are uh, a clock and a woman's image and crown and a butterfly with script writing. And then I have some of the canvas em, uh, embellishments, travel. Let's see here if I can get them separated. Okay, so they look like that. I believe they're the same ones as the other pack. And then this here, um, when Elise had her shop, hi Elise, and she probably still does. I'm not sure. I think she, yeah, she may still have it. She made this trim and was selling it, although this may have been a gift. I'm not sure. Or maybe it came on a package and I <laughs> packaged it, but I know it was from Elise. So she took some um, fabric and she stamped on it uh, some uh, pink sun uh, snowflakes. And then it says, wishing you all the joy of the Christmas season. So it's just repeated throughout the whole um, fabric. And it has a beautiful jingle bell. Okay, giving you that. And then here is your pack of um, leaves. So you have a lighter orange pumpkin because when you're making the resin pieces, it depends on how many drops you put in, whether you want light or whether you want dark. So these were some light ones, lighter ones that I made. You can see the leaves are lighter, the butterfly is lighter. There's the leaf back there, that's lighter. You're getting the um, owl, the wicked tree, and a key as well. So that is lot B. So only thing you need to do if you're up is send me an email saying I'm interested. I'll send you my PayPal address and you send the $18 and this is going out of here tomorrow because I'm getting up pretty early tomorrow. I have some things I need to do. 
So I have lot A and lot B. If you're interested, let me know. Again, friends and family, please. And if you're interested, you need to pay right away or else I'm like moving to the next person. And trust me, the next person is coming through. Um, Rosella was a next person. I so appreciate that because someone said that they wanted it and then they forgot about me and then Rosella came in and saved the day. So thank you. And Rosella, your package is was mailed today. I've sent you the tracking information, so I hope you're happy when you get it. Um, I still do have a um, a uh, D stash available. While it was a lot of scraps, it really is some good stuff. You, you girls got to look at it. It's it's some good stuff that you can really create with. And then I have about. Well, I, I have about five paper pads, but I did send some pictures of them to my scrappy friends at the retreat, seeing if anyone is interested in that. So, lot A, lot B, let me know if you're interested. Until my next video, bye now.